Welcome to the Hall at Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, while she'll never be happy if she can't do this first, 10 Magic Rules to Date By. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's very poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. You've probably heard the old line, happy wife, happy life and maybe even bought into it at some point in your life. But think about it. How many times have you found yourself bending over backwards, doing everything in your power to make her happy, only to realize it's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in it? Truth is, if a woman isn't genuinely happy with herself, nothing you do will ever be enough. So let's talk about what men really need to look for in a partner who's ready to build a healthy, lasting relationship and what women need to bring to the table to make it work. Rule number 10. She has to own her own happiness. Here's the deal. Gentlemen, true happiness is an inside job. If a woman's entire sense of fulfillment depends on you, then you're setting yourself up for a rough ride. A solid partner, a woman who's actually ready for marriage, knows how to make herself happy. She's got her own life, her own interests, and her own goals. You're part of her world, sure, but you're not the entire thing. This is why you see so many relationships, even high profile ones, crumble. It's usually always best to bring her into your world, not the other way around. Think of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Here's a woman who has everything, money, fame, success, yet it became clear that there was deep personal issues that no relationship, no matter how luxurious, could solve. In the end, each person has to find happiness within themselves before they can genuinely share it with a partner. And there's data to back this up. A study titled The Paradox of Declining Female Happiness published in the American Economic Journal reveals that despite decades of increased economic and social power for women, female happiness has been on a steadily declining since the 1970s. This paradox highlights the reality that external achievements alone do not bring long-term happiness. It's internal satisfaction and purpose that matter most. Rule number nine, avoid agreeing to things just because she says they'll make her happy. I've seen men move across the country, take on debt, even open their marriage, all because they thought it would make her happy. But let's be real. If she's constantly looking for some new thing, a new city, or even a new relationship structure, that's a sign she's unfulfilled on a deep level. Moving cities? That's often code for, I'm unhappy with my life here, and I think a fresh start will fix it. Guess what? Wherever you go, there you are. Research shows that lasting happiness comes from one's internal state more than external circumstances. So if she's pushing you into drastic moves, think 
twice about what's really going on. A good example? The rocky romance between Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson. They got engaged almost immediately after they started dating, only to realize later that their fresh start together couldn't fix what was happening internally. Their fast-paced relationship shows that chasing change without addressing the core issues only leads to burnout and breakups. Rule number eight. She needs a solid sense of self. Let's get one thing straight. No amount of validation, gifts, or attention is going to be enough for someone who doesn't already own their own self-worth. Look for a woman who knows who she is and doesn't need constant affirmations to feel secure. Self-worth shouldn't be tied to social media likes or what her friends think. And if she's dragging you into social media game of let's post couples pics to make everyone jealous, that is a red flag. Take Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, for example. When Bieber decided to settle down, he openly talked about his struggles with self-worth and emotional stability, and how marriage was not just about being saved by love, but also about two individuals coming together with their own stability. A relationship built on self, solid self-esteem is essential for anything lasting. Rule number seven, emotional independence is the key. Supporting a partner is part of being in a relationship, but let's be clear. You don't need to be her therapist, her life coach, or her 24 seven emotional support system. A woman who is truly ready for a committed relationship knows how to process her emotions. She's not looking for you to solve all her problems, nor does she use emotional manipulation to get her way. If you're constantly the one picking up the pieces, that's not a relationship. It's a dependency. Rule Number six, accountability matters. Everyone makes mistakes, but a good partner owns up to them. If she's constantly shifting blame or finding ways to make everything your fault, watch out. Blame shifting and finger pointing are signs of immaturity. And a mature relationship requires both partners to be accountable for their actions. Accountability means owning mistakes and being willing to learn from them. Relationships aren't about playing the blame game. They're about solving problems together. Stay to the end as we work our way down to number one. Meanwhile, if you like this so far, give me a thumbs up to help others see this video and grow this channel. Rule number five, she shouldn't be trying to fix you. Listen, if you're with someone who sees you as a project, run. A woman who loves and respects you doesn't try to mold you into her ideal of a perfect man. She accepts you for who you are, flaws and all. And she's not looking to change you into someone else just to fit her fantasy. What's that old joke? Men marry and hope she doesn't change and women marry to change him. Self-improvement is a great thing, but it should be motivated by your own goals not by someone else's checklist of what makes an ideal partner. Magic rule number four. How she treats others 
is the key. Here's a tip. Pay attention to how she treats people who aren't in a position to do anything for her. If she's dismissive, rude, unkind to strangers, waitstaff, or even family, it's only a matter of time before that attitude comes your way. A woman who respects everyone around her is far more likely to treat you with respect as well. It's one of the oldest indicators of character, and it's just as true now as it's ever been. Magic rule number three. Emotional maturity matters. Emotional maturity is the glue that holds relationships together. If she's more invested in drama, gossip, or online popularity than in real life communication and personal growth, she's not ready for a serious partnership. Which means if she's an internet influencer and always taking pictures for her following, that's just not going to work out, guys. Emotional maturity means handling conflicts thoughtfully, without blowing things out of proportion, an understanding of importance of communication and compromise. Take Hazel and Gus from The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, a best-selling novel and blockbuster film. These two young characters face immense hardship, but they handle their relationship with sincerity, openness, and an impressive level of maturity. Even in the face of illness and uncertainty, they don't get sidetracked by the petty concerns or self-centered drama. They're real with each other, able to communicate their fears, doubt, and affection without playing games or avoiding hard conversations. It's the kind of maturity every relationship needs, and it sets a strong foundation for handling life's inevitable ups and downs. If a partner has that level of self-awareness and emotional stability, she's more likely to build you up, communicate openly, and work through challenges by your side. Emotional maturity isn't about perfection. It's about commitment to growth and respect for the relationship. Magic rule number two, watch out for the high maintenance mindset. If her happiness is tied to constant upgrades, renovations, or dramatic changes in lifestyle, it's a sign she's looking outward to feel satisfied. High maintenance demands will eventually drain you, and a healthy relationship shouldn't feel like a never-ending list of projects. There's nothing wrong with wanting a nice life, but if she's always pushing for the next big thing to be happy, she's not finding satisfaction in what she already has. And magic rule number one, Look for commitment, not convenience. Finally, a woman who's with you because she loves you for who you are, not what you can provide. Some people, both men and women, look for relationships to fulfill their financial or social goals rather than genuine companionship. Oh, you mean like a Hollywood marriage? Hmm. If you feel more like an accessory to her life than her true partner, it's time to reconsider. Look at Tom Brady and Giselle. While their separation was amicable, okay, that's debatable, it's highlighted the importance of shared values and genuine partnership over career convenience and personal ambitions. My final word, choosing a partner for life. In summary, guys, don't get caught in the endless loop of trying to make someone else happy when she can't find happiness on her own. 
Relationships thrive when both partners bring their own happiness, stability, and self-worth to the table. So find someone who's willing to work on herself, stand by you as a real partner, and value your contribution for the right reasons. It's like, what's important to a woman? Security. What's important to a man? Loyalty. And a man wants a partner who will stand by him, period. Remember that happiness doesn't come from constant changes, new cities, or material things. It comes from within, and the right woman will understand that too. It's like the old saying by Tony Robbins. If you don't have a vision for your life, you'll settle for someone else's. And if that's the case, you probably want her settling for yours. So find a woman who's on your level and is genuinely ready to build something solid. That's the real secret to a happy life. No buckets with holes, just a well that keeps on giving. If you found value in my channel, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul and this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher, and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now if you're watching YouTube and watch another. Until next time.